That captivating smile, getting one is an $11 billion industry. But which products do the job and which ones are duds? The night team's Courtney Friedman breaks it all down. For 18-year-old Aubrey Clear, the journey toward a dazzling smile didn't always leave her feeling her brightest. I did um, a set of whitening strips a couple times, and those worked, but they weren't great. Whitening pen, um, I was not impressed with. If you went back 20 years, you couldn't find anybody that had these shades, even somebody that was super healthy and didn't do anything that ever darkened the teeth at all. Prosthodontist Keith Clear says the obsession with whiter teeth can be seen in the new shades manufacturers have added to the whitening spectrum over the past few years. And they could come up with new colors that have never even been on the planet before. And now we can add these colors on. And now this is what people sometimes think natural, healthy teeth look like. But really, these are colors that hadn't existed before. These were healthy colors. One key to a better, whiter smile is how long the product stays in contact with your teeth. So whitening pens aren't nearly as effective as whitening strips. These actually work quite well and, and people can get a very good bleaching job using white strips. It's just you have to do it over and over again, maybe 60 different applications. Bleaching tray products are the closest thing to what the dentist uses. But these trays are somewhat generic. They're sort of a few sizes fits most people. So that's where it's going to be the frustrating portion is just trying to get the, the, the gel to stay on the teeth in a way that's comfortable so that you can have it in your mouth long enough to get a result. Products with hydrogen peroxide yield fast results, but also fade fast. Carbamide peroxide takes longer, but lasts longer, and kits with the blue light. This is essentially just a flashlight with some blue cellophane on it. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.